Hello guys, uh, welcome to this video, welcome to my channel, uh, for any of you new, new guys out there, make sure you subscribe if you uh, like what you see. But um, yeah, welcome to this video, um, it's basically a, a game where I go flawless in jets, you probably can tell from the title. Uh, make sure you check out the, 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 sorry, make sure you check out the, the description below as well. Um, so yeah, you can see my, uh, I'm on my own server here, but I, I don't have any like, I'm, ju I'm just joining it, I don't have any um, communication with the players or anything like that. I like to go on my server to record because um, a lot of my, you know, YouTubers know that I have my own server and they go on there and my subscribers are, are on there quite often, so I like to, um, even if I, you know, don't know it, um, or if they don't know it, it's nice to get them in the videos as well. So, um, yeah, it's unedited. I, I jump into the jet straight away quite luckily. Um, I use the assault class because I don't usually land in repair. I always bail out, so. Oh, yeah, this is um, Nouvelle Vague, or Vague. Um, <laughs> Ever Fallen in Love. I've just chosen random tracks that I, uh, I like to play, so, to myself. So, I hope you enjoy them as well. So um, I'll talk first about the, the class setup and then um, tactics I use. I'm using um, the ECM jammer, air radar, and I don't know what else am I using. Oh yeah, this is bad lag by the way. I get I suffer from terrible lag, but only for about another 10 seconds. Oh right, here it sorted itself out. There you go. And I don't know what else I'm using. ECM jammer, stealth, and. I've got um, below radar unlocked, and there's kill number one. I only get 10 kills, but I do get a lot of disables, um, and you can tell I do a lot of support. So I've had uh, comments recently saying I don't support the ground troops enough, and I try to do a lot more of that. And also, I never, I never, well, I don't think I do. I, I try to make a big effort not to spawn kill at all, because um, I get comments of, of that as well, so you can see later on in the video I actually let a jet take off and, well, I force him to take off and give him a hint, but it's clear that I'm not going to take him down, so. Um, I also want to show off, like, the beauty of the game and, um, also, just, just the sort of things you can do as a lone wolf pilot. Um, I've got, you can see... You can see my microphone, obviously, and uh, I'm not in a party with any people. Um, I'm, well, <laughs> I actually thought I was going to crash there as well, but I didn't want to bail. And what I, I, I was aiming to do a flawless gameplay. I actually asked LTD Apocalyptic if he wanted to do it, but he uh, said he's not played in months, so <laughs> I was like, all right, okay. So yeah, um, these pilots are quite advanced, so I can't just lock on and force them to flare because they're not flaring. Um, this guy's bailed and I didn't realise, but oh well. I still survived. Um, so just whilst the song's breaking down, um, the next one is Owl City and it's Fireflies. Owl City is the band and Fireflies is the name. So yeah, um, I'm letting them, you know, engage us first. Um, I don't have any communication with the other pilots though, so I, I'm not telling them. I think they do spawn kill a bit, but nice little um, backwards loop there, or downwards loop, sorry. I checked the flares, but I realise it's just my pilot, so... I think he maybe got stingered. I see the shadow on the floor and I thought it was another jet, but it's not. <laughs> this is why I do this weird circle movement for a, for a bit. It's me just scanning. I see the jeep and I go for that. So, um... There we go. Vehicle disabled. Helping my uh, troops on the ground. See, I see on the air radar, I can see a jet on their runway. And he's just sitting there. He's not doing anything. Now normally I'd spawn kill him, or well I wouldn't. I'd vehicle disable him. I rarely do I spawn kill. I usually vehicle disable and stop them getting in the air. And I don't usually spawn kill. It's usually accidental if I do. So he's still not moving. I highlight him, but there's no one else to take him out. So I just nudge him a bit, nudge him a bit more, and I can see his boosters there. They've activated. I know he's taking off. And I fly away, I give him enough time to get away, enough time to, you know, repair. But I also don't want him to be right on my tail. So I, you know, I turn into the sun and make sure I'm coming from the sun. So it gives me, you know, a bit of a, 
it's not an advantage, but it makes it, you know, just as if we were fighting and instead of me having to force him to take off. So I get my lock on. Um, I realised that he's probably going to, you know, break the distance. I'm still accelerating, so I fire one and then I'll lose my lock because he flares. So I want to get my second one off. So I wait until I fly through the flares. That's an important tip you have to um, do. You have to make sure you fly past the flares, or it's like here, look. Then I can fl then I can shoot because I've got nothing to distract my flare. Nice bit of braking there allowed me to make that maneuver nice and easily. And I had a comment from somebody who's a PC player. Um, I forget his name. Something Twix. Um, he's been trolling me recently on a battlefield um, video I've done. Saying I'm a ship pilot. These are mainly just response videos to him, really. But um, he commented saying, "Oh, you sh you shouldn't um, boost around a corner. Everybody knows that." But it's different on PC. Yeah, I I've played Battlefield 3 on the PC, and no, you don't ever boost around a corner. Um, but on Xbox, it's different. Y you can get advantages from boosting around the corner. It does at certain points. Like I found out that 300 is the perfect speed to be going. And if you're slowing down, or if you're low to the ground, for example, and you slow right down, your wing, you'll lose your roll ability, and your um, wheels all come out, and it thinks you're trying to land when you're not, and you need to boost around the corner. And I found that if if you want to find the perfect way to, you know, to corner, um, hang on, let me just take out this heli. I'm not doing this live, but I want to let you concentrate on it. So here I, ha I have to go past the flares, launch them too, try and get some hits on it, and it's only disabled it. Ah, so I go back around for another one, making sure I'm aware, and it's been destroyed, there we go. So um, this song is DJ Fresh, and it's Gold Dust, and it's a Flux Pavilion remix. And uh, this is going to be the last song it's going to play us out. So here I can see a jet on the radar. I just spotted him before he disappeared there. So I'm uh, turning back around. And I do like to fly in first person quite a lot. Um, if you use the D-pad, you can um, look around your cockpit. If you if you hold down if you hold down the button down, if that makes sense. Um, down on a d-pad if you hold that button down and you can look around and you can actually uh, I don't know if you've seen me doing it um, but you can you know look above you look behind you in the cockpit the view it gives I think it's just a more realistic game um, I, you know I'll zoom out to get a like uh, a nicer picture if I have to or if it's or if I'm trying to view a kill um, that I've gotten you know to, so you guys can see it but most of the time I'll find first person I think it's a good thing to do. But yeah, um, the secret, which I've uh, just left you guys hanging with, um, the secret to the perfect turn, I found on Xbox, um, the, the thing to do is to get yourself around the 300 mark, um, and then brake and enter it, so turn, obviously, you know, you roll your plane, and then brake and pull down on the stick at the, at the same time. And then when you feel yourself, you'll feel yourself come to the perfect turn point, uh, this this is not a good example this turn because I'm doing a roll at the same time to try and get behind the plane which you see me do there and then I do another roll so I can get just behind him at the right speed but he's decided to turn so yeah time to go after the heli instead so yeah the, the, so what you're doing is you're you're turning and you'll find the f you, you'll find the perfect turn point so I'm turning there's the perfect turn point it's really fast and then what you'll do is if you don't um, what you do is, if you don't put the afterburner on, you'll slow down too much. So you jam on the afterburner for about, mm, I don't know, a second. And you'll get used to doing it, and this is how you train yourself. You'll find the perfect turning technique for you. There is no perfect turn that you just time. Um, you know, you have to find it yourself. But this is just the easiest way to start it. So I'll start again from the beginning, because you know, I'll probably I'll confuse myself. <laughs> I'll probably confuse you guys in the process. So the perfect turn. You um, say you're flying straight, you roll your plane to the side and then pull back and you hold brake at the same time. 
that allows you to slow down you'll find your perfect point and when you slow down just enough if this is literally in like in like a second when you slow down just enough that you're starting to slow down too much you put on your afterburner leave that on for about a second if you're still going round your turn that is leave that on for about a sec because you know s sorry i'm going on tangents here but you know obviously sometimes in dog fights you're going to be turning and turning and turning so you want to leave that on for about a second and then you want to slam on your brakes again and just repeat the process but you'll find your own you know perfect thing to do So, um, yeah, ECM Jammer, um, definitely worth it over, over Flares. Um, you know, ECM Jammer can, um, you know, it stops lock-ons. You're never, ever locked onto. If you see in this gameplay, if they if they have tried to lock onto me at all, I don't know if I've been too aggressive for them to get a chance to, but um, if they have locked onto me at, you know, at any time, oh, nice little thing here. And I didn't actually try to nudge him. I think I just caught him. Um, or it might also be the lag or the you know the the effect they give you the breaking effect, but I got that at the same time. Oh no, he must have obviously. I must have missed him, or else he wouldn't have been able to land. There we go. He didn't even try and get out of his vehicle, so or make it to anywhere. So shame on him. <laughs> nice. So he got me to blow two missiles doing that, which is very good. Very good timing for his flares. So yeah, um, ECM Jammer stops you getting locked onto totally, whereas Flash, you know, you, you have to wait for them to get a lock onto you, and lock on's dangerous, it's dangerous to get that. Now, if you've got Below Radar, and you've got ECM Jammer, equip them, they're awesome. Combine it with Stealth and you're basically untouchable. What you have to do is, you, Below Radar enab enables you to not get locked onto by air vehicles, you know, the jets and the helis that are chasing you down, if you're below a certain point. So what you do is you, you keep your combat relatively low if you can, um, and then if you if you're getting locked onto, you apply straight away you can apply your ECM jammer, and then what you do is you dive right down to the ground as you, as you're being you know locked onto, and the ECM, ECM jammer will disrupt that lock on. Then you fly straight down to the ground, and below radar covers your ass until your ECM jammer is working again. It's awesome. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is coming up to the end of the gameplay now. Um, I, I can't remember if I managed to take this guy out or not. Let's just watch. Am I? Am I? Am I? Yeah, there we go. Got him right at the end. Yeah, so they've got um, two tickets left. One, and it's gone. There we go. That's the end. Uh, yeah, I hope you really, you know, I, I really do hope you enjoy this gameplay. Um, I do go flawless. It's 10 to 0 is my kill to death ratio. Um, as you can see there. Um, MVP3 as well. Um, so here's just my awards. I'll also show you my uh, vehicle screen just so you can see it. I think I'm Jet Service Star 8, and then I'll show you my uh, stat screen at the end. So, yeah, um, I, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, let me know what your favourite setup is as well in the comments. That's the uh, you know the thing I'm really interested in. And make them lengthy, you know, make your com comments lengthy and. Um, um, you know, relevant to the questions, and well, I'm not saying that they're not, but you know, really take time to um, explain why you think it's the best kit. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, take care with uh, whatever you're doing today, guys. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.